Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And our theme for Christmas this year is Peace Has Come. Now, we made a little devotional for everyone to read. Uh, there's pages in here, entries, for December 1st all the way through December 25th. We are now at December 6th today, and I realize not everybody got one of these, and so I decided, you know what? I'll just throw one up on YouTube. I'll read a page out of this, sit in front of the old Christmas tree, got my Christmas jacket on, and we'll just all sit back and listen together. The reading today is called The Christmas Key, and there's a passage here from Isaiah 22, verse 22. It says, I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open. Do you remember being an inquisitive child and maybe asking an adult how Santa Claus is able to visit every single home in a single night? We got a lot of answers back then, didn't we? But forget about the time it takes. How does Santa get into those homes? Not every house has a chimney. I heard one parent say, I think Santa has a magic key. Can you imagine having a key like that? That would be one seriously powerful key. In our passage above, Isaiah the prophet is speaking about one very important person. This passage in Isaiah is often looked at as a prophecy about the coming Christmas baby. Jesus was to be the key to the house of David. Now, what does that mean? Well, the phrase, house of David, would be another way of talking about King David's lineage his family tree, well, more importantly, his throne. This prophecy in Isaiah says that the Christmas baby will hold the key to establishing a way back to his kingdom. Plus, most importantly, Isaiah reminds us that this is an eternal kingdom that none shall shut. Have you ever tried to use the wrong key on a lock? What happens? The door doesn't open. For all of time, Humanity has tried in vain to find the key to unlocking all the blessings of life. But the Bible says that only Jesus is the key. Acts 4.12 says that there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus is the Christmas key that the world so desperately needs. Thanks for joining us in our reading today. Make sure you return tomorrow for our reading on December 7th. Hey, and one more thing before you go. I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.